is guarded by Davis. And that's an intentional foul. And the Stars have possession. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Good on the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Gets them both, and it's an eight-point ball game. And the Elites call time here. They're trailing by eight. 17 seconds left in the fourth. Seventeen seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And it's Martin missing. Got a piece of it. And they call the eight-second violation. Too much time getting it up court. Puts up a prayer. No good. So the... Good job out there tonight. I really appreciate you giving us a few minutes of your time. We have the eighth pick in the draft and are interested in your talents. We just want to pick your brain a little before we decide. Let's get to it. I really think the first piece to getting this franchise back on track is to find and develop our point guard of the future. We have Rodney Stuckey on the roster, but we're still trying to assess if he is the answer. Looking back at the Hornets, look at what Chris Paul did for that team. We want a point guard who will do the same for us, and we think you might be that guy. Convince us of that. All right, look, I know you're going to talk to some of the other point guards in the draft, but none of them are going to have my work ethic, my character, my dedication, and my sheer will to win basketball games. I'm eager to be the face of a franchise, and I don't want to do it anywhere else but in Detroit. Okay, last question. The team that we built here in Detroit was a rebuilding effort that didn't quite pan out. Obviously, it's difficult to predict the future, but I expect to see a fair amount of roster turnover as we work towards retooling the lineup for another rebuilding effort. How comfortable would you feel coming into a situation where the roster is in a state of flux? Oh, that's not a problem for me at all. To me, that just says the people running the team want nothing less than titles. Plural. Titles. It'd be an honor for me to play for a team like that. I want to win, man. Badly. Thanks so much for your time. I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but we would be ecstatic if you're still on board when it's our turn to pick. Well played out there tonight. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the GM of the Washington Wizards. We currently have the sixth pick in the draft and are narrowing down our list of draft targets. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. Now, obviously, you play at arguably our strongest position in point guard. John Wall is our centerpiece and who we're building this team around. We've got some promising pieces around him in JaVale McGee, Andre Blotch, and Nick Young. I think we're really lacking in depth, and I think you would be a great fit for our team. How well can you handle being on a team like this where the focus won't be on you? It's not a problem. I can handle it. Look, everything about the NBA sounds amazing to me at this point. I can't wait to put on that jersey, jog out of the tunnel, and take in all the fans that'll be watching. Shoot, maybe John and I can even do the Dougie together before a game, man. Who knows? Look, overall, I just don't know how long I can stay in a backup role and not feel like I'm being held back, you know? It's really a tough question for me to answer right now. Let's see, one more question, if you don't mind. This next question is more how you feel about what we're doing here in Washington. 
Having recently traded away our former cornerstone in Gilbert Arenas, the franchise turned a new page in that we brought in a lot of very talented young guys, headlined by John Wall. With the group we have now, do you feel like you'd fit in? Oh, most definitely. Looking at what you have, I love all the young talent on the roster. You've got players at every position that are oozing with potential. This is a great team for me to get in with on the ground floor and develop my skills as they develop theirs. With a little team chemistry, I feel like we could be contenders in a few years. That's great. Those answers were music to our ears. With any luck, you'll fall to us in the draft. I know you just got done playing and probably want to catch a shower, so I'll keep this brief. I'm with the Bobcats, and we're picking ninth in the upcoming draft. We love what we saw in you tonight and want to ask you some questions to see how well you would fit in with us. Question number one. I feel like we have our point guard of the future in DJ Augustin, but I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't look at all available options in the draft. How do you think you compare to DJ? I think DJ is a talented player and someone I watched a lot of when he was playing at Texas. I really think we could learn a lot from each other and ultimately it would help us to both become better players. How that works with your roster, well, I guess that's for you to figure out. Interesting. Next question. As a younger team, I feel like we have a lot of opportunities for you. I'm here to tell you that you have a chance to be our franchise centerpiece if you put in the work. How many other teams can offer you that? That being said, we still have a couple of years ahead of us where we're going to be acquiring young talent and assets. We might struggle a bit in those years. Are you going to be able to remain focused during the rebuilding years? Mm, I've never really lost in my entire life. I've always been good enough to propel every team I've ever been on to success. I realize the NBA will be different in that regard, at least at the start of my career. This will really test my patience, but as a man, I'm up for the challenge. Okay, I think I've heard all I needed to hear for now. You're definitely someone we can use on our team. Now we just need you to be available when it's our turn to pick. Good evening and welcome to the 2011 NBA Draft. For the young men waiting to hear their names called this evening, this moment marks the realization of a lifelong dream. For the fans here and at home who enjoyed this past season and tonight get a glimpse at tomorrow's stars, I thank you for joining us. It's a moment of tremendous excitement as these young men prepare to join the ranks of the greatest basketball players in the world. So without further ado, let's get started. With the first pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Doug Martin from the University of Michigan. With the second pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Cliff Davis from The Ohio State University. With the third pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Utah Jazz select Derek Gibson from the University of Tennessee. With the fourth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Larry Douglas from the University of Florida. With the fifth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Toronto Raptors select 
Nick Brown from Boston College.